The GE C40-9 and C40-9W was essentially a derated C44-9W that was built specifically for the Norfolk Southern from the mid-1990s through the mid-2000s. Compared to the Western carriers, the Norfolk Southern was slow to adopt cab air conditioning, but by 1995, the road was specifying the installation of air conditioning on new units and as such, the first delivery of Dash 9 units is readily distinguishable from the previous Dash 8 power with their cab roof mounted air conditioned units. These were the only Dash 9 units that GE built without the North American style cab. That's the wide cab. They were also the first NS production units to be delivered with electronic fuel injection and were unique among NS-9 deliveries in that they came with the Lucas Bryce fuel injection system. These systems were upgraded to Bosch fuel injection equipment at the first overhaul seven to nine years later. After years of field testing, Wabtec introduced the first production version of its Epic electronic air brake system. These systems were also used on the 1996 and the 1997 orders. Also, per NS's desire, at the time, the railroad's first order of 4,000 horsepower Dash 9s all came with the standard cabs instead of the more traditional wide cabs, also known as safety cabs of today. Eventually, the company was required by the FRA to purchase the wide cab design and was only able to roster about 125 units with the common standard cab. The Dash 9 series followed the previous Dash 8s in the mid-1990s with upgraded electronics and other components, and NS would come to own more than 1,200 of the C40 Dash 9s in various forms. And still relatively new locomotives at a then 20 years of age, all of the locomotives that NS purchased began being rebuilt as AC 4400 CWs, which NS classifies as the AC 44C6M. These newly minted rebuilds are commonly found all over the NS system and beyond, operating in heavy drag service given the tremendous tractive effort which they can produce. And just as the SD40 and all of its many variants came to symbolize EMD's conquest and domination of the diesel locomotive market in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, so is the case today with the GE C44-9W and its variants, which are the most successful 21st century diesel locomotives to date. The popularity of the model was due to its reliability, simplicity, and powerful prime mover which have become traits that GE is known for. Spotting the older standard cab Dash 9s was relatively easy as they had an air conditioning box on the top of the cab as opposed to the Dash 8 predecessors. At the time of their purchase, it was rumored that Ennis was simply too frugal to purchase the increasingly popular safety cabs, but eventually the company was required by the FRA to purchase the wide cab design. But it also didn't hurt that GE started charging the same price for the wide cab C44s as for the standard cab C44s. One of the most noticeable spotting features over the Dash 8s is that the Dash 9 was one of the first to be equipped with GE's high adhesion or HTC truck which helped to improve the wheel to rail contact. And in the spirit and the grand tradition of the hey you left out and hey you forgot guys out there. The AC44 C6 CF number 8520 was originally built by General Electric in 1996 as the Dash 940 CW number 8946. The unit was rebuilt and converted to AC traction at Norfolk Southern's Roanoke Locomotive Shop in Virginia. 
It was painted in a red variation of the main paint scheme, sometimes called the Sonic Bonic paint scheme, at the Juniata shops in Altoona. The red color was chosen for the corporate colors of CAF in Spain, which was Norfolk Southern's partner in the design of the updated equipment and electronics. The 8520 was then sent for testing on the Western New York and Pennsylvania Railroad, but returned to Altoona in February of 2019 to pose for some company photographs. During this time, she was displayed at the turntable in Altoona with four other engines from the DC to AC program. Three of these other engines were AC44C6Ms, while the fourth was the SD70ACC. In August 2019, after another period of testing on the WNYMP, 8520 was placed in storage in a siding at Driftwood, Pennsylvania. Reportedly, the locomotive was not moved properly and got flat spots on all 12 of her wheels. She stayed in Driftwood for at least one month. Sadly, the 8520 was a failed locomotive, and she turned out to be less reliable than the AC44C6Ms. She was sent back to Altoona in September 2019 and ended up being sold to the Knoxville Locomotive Works in August of 2020. From there, it was sold to the Canadian National. The C40-9 and C40-9Ws that were built for Norfolk Southern were actually constructed a year after the C44-9W debuted in 1994. The model was a step up from the Dash 8s in that it featured upgraded components and electronics such as new traction motors and a redesigned generator. The GE model B13B traction motor, which replaced the model 752, a design that had been used by the company dating back to the Universal series, although the new design was just as reliable, if not more so, than the former. The C40-9s and the Ws were one of the first GE locomotives that were equipped with the relatively new high adhesion or HTC truck, which helped to improve the wheel-to-rail contact, like we talked about before. The Dash 9s, however, still carry GE's model 16-cylinder FDL Prime Mover. One of the design's notable selling points was the incredible tractive effort it offered, 140,000 pounds at starting and 109,000 pounds continuous, which also included the more powerful C44-9W models. Production of the locomotive began in early 1995, and all 125 original units purchased by the NS were completed that year. Very happy with this first batch and desperately needing power to keep up with the traffic demands of the economic boom occurring in the U.S. at that time, a year later, in early 1996, NS returned for more. Many more. In this case, the C40-9W model, which featured the wide safety cab. NS continued to purchase GE models like the C40-9W for nearly 10 years as needed through to late 2004 until GE ended production on the model. When GE released the more energy-efficient Evolution Series, that's ES models, in 2005, NS continued to purchase the design in the new series as the ES40 DCs. By the time GE had closed out the C40-9W order for NS, it owned more than 1,200 of them in all. Up to that time, it was one of the largest ever single orders for a particular locomotive model by a railroad. And while it is tough to tell the given similarities between GE's present-day models, nearly all of Norfolk Southern's original fleet of the C44-9s and their wide cab variants continued to remain in regular freight service across its system as the rebuilt AC44C6Ms.